You might remember from math that there are true and false statements. For example, 2 plus 2 equals 4 is true and 2 plus 2 equals 5 is false. In both cases, we're comparing two numbers with each other. In Operation Flashpoint, we can do that too, using one of six comparison operators. These are less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equal to, and different from. They output a boolean value, which is either true or false. Try it yourself using hint format for greater than 5. Displays false on the screen. Using equal and not equal, you can also compare other data types, except for booleans and arrays. The value that you are comparing against must be of the same type. Logical values will come in handy in triggers. Triggers are devices that allow you to run code based on an event. Insert a new trigger and in the condition field write an expression that returns a bool value, like 2 plus 2 equal to 4. In the onActivation field write a statement like hint hello and preview. A message appears on the screen. Triggers repeatedly execute code in the condition field, and when it returns true, the trigger runs code from the on activation field and stops working. In this example, values are fixed and the trigger activates instantly, but what if we checked against something that can change during the course of the game? Type in damage player greater than 0 0.1 and hint you're injured. A message is displayed on the screen when player loses some health. When soldier is healthy, damage returns 0, and 0 greater than 0 0.1 is false. Trigger keeps going. When soldier is injured, this expression returns true, and trigger executes on activation code. In the previous video, we defined variable myWeapon, which stores name of the player's weapon. Let's put it to use here. Write condition primary weapon player different from myWeapon. Trigger is activated when you switch rifles. To make it work again, set activation to repeatedly and in the on activation field, add code to update the variable. Operation Flashpoint also features three operators that apply to bool values – NOT, AND, OR. With their use, more complex conditions can be built. Suppose the objective is to destroy a truck. There's a command ALIVE 
that will return true if an object is still functional, and false if it's dead or destroyed. But triggers activate only on the true value, so it's the opposite of what we want. This is where the operator NOT comes in. It reverses a logical value, so true becomes false, and false becomes true. Insert a new vehicle and name it truck. Enter not alive truck in trigger condition and hint truck destroyed below. While the truck is fine, the command alive returns true, and with not, it is turned into false, so the trigger keeps on checking. When the track is destroyed, alive outputs false, which is then turned into true, and trigger is activated. Let's say you want to add a second objective. The goal now is to blow up the track and protect a friendly soldier. The operator end takes two logical values and returns true if both of them are true. Otherwise, it returns false. Add a soldier and name him General. Write not alive track and alive general. Alive general keeps on returning true, but not alive track not. With true and false, operator end returns false. When you destroy the track, both expressions return true, then end returns true, and trigger is activated. Suppose you want to create optional objective. Player must destroy at least one of two tracks. Operator OR also allows to combine two logical expressions, but unlike AND, it returns TRUE if any of them is true. Add two vehicles and name them track 1 and track 2. Write condition not alive track 1 or not alive track 2. On the beginning, it's false and false, so the result is false. When one of the vehicles is destroyed, then it's true and false, so the result is true. This activates the trigger. Expressions in parentheses take precedence, which allow you to build even more complex conditions. So to combine all the examples, the player must blow up one of the tracks and protect a friendly unit. In the condition field, write 
open parentheses, not alive track 1 or not alive track 2, close parentheses, and alive general. When the track is destroyed, one of the two expressions in the parentheses returns true. True and false with OR gives true. And parentheses is solved. True and true returns true. Which activates the trigger displaying message on the screen. Without parentheses, the objective instead would be to destroy first track, or destroy second track and keep friendly alive. As an exercise, try implementing a functional field hospital. You can use the distance command to measure the distance between the player and a tent, and compare that to a maximum range from the tent, which you set. When this condition returns true, Reduce current player's damage by 0.25 by using set damage and damage commands. Make sure that it won't work for healthy players. This concludes the fourth part. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.